Los Angeles, as friends came to a close, Jennifer Aniston didn't exactly have her future mapped out. One thing I will never forget is the question Sherry asked me, what do you imagine for your future? Aniston recalled from the podium, as she was honored with the Sherry Lansing Leadership Award. I was stumped. My future? Okay. Well, I barely have today planned out. Aniston kept coming back to that question as my future unfolded, she said, noting it's been this riddle that I've been trying to solve throughout the years. Cut to a few years later, a friend gifts me with a meeting with a numerologist, this is Califo. After this numerologist did her mysterious arithmetic on me, she said that apparently my numbers very clearly indicated that I am a late bloomer. Aniston was stumped. I said, really, are you sure? I mean, I feel like I've kind of partially bloomed. Maybe she didn't have a TV, the friends Alan joked. At first I was a little taken aback by this label as if I was an underachiever who hadn't reached her full potential. But the term started to grow on her, you know, maybe I hadn't done my best work yet as an artist or as a human being. Aniston, who has since flexed in indie films like 2014's Cake. The actress and advocate was presented with the Equity and Entertainment Award Wednesday by her friend Michelle Pfeiffer, and the two shared an emotional moment on stage, with Pfeiffer calling Blair a hero who is completely transparent with the challenges and heartbreak of this disease and speaks t. Hire other disabled people in front of and behind the camera. Not because it is the right thing to do, although it is, but because you and whatever project you are working on will be better for having done so.